Hi and welcome to the sim, which obviously isn't here uh, at the moment. The reason for it not being here is that I'm building this, a TUDOF motion platform for the simulator. My goal for this video is to assemble the cockpit on the motion platform. But before we start assembly, I need to address some issues with the motion system. So let me start by showing you how the motion system works. Under the center of the base, uh, there is a universal joint that uh, carries most of the simulator weight and restricts the motion into pitch and roll. Then you have the actuators that are responsible for moving the base. The problem I'm having is that the universal joint is not rigid to torsional loads, making it rotate and oscillate around the yaw axis. To figure out why this is the case, I did a little digging and this is what I found. As you can see, the whole U joint is flexing, especially at the flanges, making the whole universal joint uh, rotate. Having established where the problem is, I have uh, designed a new universal joint. Running stress analysis on uh, these new parts uh, show improvement and hopefully this will be rigid enough. There will of course always be some flex, but it would be nice to reduce it uh, to some acceptable level. And here are the finished parts after 300 hours of printing and four and a half kilograms of P2G. Let's get the old universal joint out uh, so we can swap uh, over the cross bearing and install the new one. The new universal joint is finally installed. Let's see if there is uh, any improvement. It is still some flex, but it's much better than what it was before. I think it is acceptable. That means that we can continue assembling the cockpit.
assembly is finally done after four months of work. Let's uh, do a test flight out of Renton to see how it works. Okay, I've just started the engines and it should be ready to taxi. Let's put flaps 15. It's a long time since I've been flying this, so I'm a bit rusty. Everything looks okay. Let's release the parking brake and taxi to runway uh, 3-4. Check the brakes. They work. Let's turn on the landing lights. Trim is set, flaps 15. Take off thrust, release brakes. Take off thrust set. E1. B2. Right, gear up. There is a need for some tuning of the motion profile, that is to be expected. So the surge is feels quite realistic, while the sway is feeling like I'm falling out of my seat now, and that's not realistic, I think. Okay, ah, and I need some seats that are bolted down so I don't slide around with my seats. So I'm really happy that the motion system is working, able to move the platform or the simulator, but there's a need for some tuning so I don't fall out of my seat when I'm turning or banking, but that is to be expected. Overall, really happy. Thanks for watching.